Yo guys, Punk on another video. BGs are right around the corner. Finally, a ground to battle to the death on equal footing. Team versus team, 10 versus 10, or 40 versus 40. Well, sometimes equal footing at least. There's actually a certain situation in the game where it's just not fair at all. And where's that? Of course, the twink brackets. 19 twinks with the same health pool and damage as maybe a level 35. 49 twinks one-shotting all of their enemies like a max level farming noobs in lower level zones. The twink brackets are officially here guys, and I know a lot of you guys are quite excited for that. This is going to be my first twink video ever, and to be honest, there's been people in the comment section asking me to cover twinks for maybe the last like 5 months or so. So this video is going to gauge the interest I guess in a certain way. Let's see how interested some of you guys are in the topic in general. If this one does well, I'll keep blasting them out, maybe doing some specific twink guides, strategies, and pretty much the whole 9 yards. There's actually a decent amount of content surrounding twinks in general, so it might be a decent idea. But for this video specifically, we're not going to be talking about any specific class or anything like that. We're going to be covering the most OP twinks that you can run in Classic WoW in general overall. Let's get into it. Alright, well firstly, it's pretty much a widely known fact that the most common twink class is the Rogue, obviously. And the most common one that you're going to see is obviously the 19 twink. I think in general the 19 twink is the most popular just because you could level up to 19 in like under 12 hours pretty easily and with power leveling even faster. But the 19 bracket is not necessarily the greatest bracket for the Rogue. Of course they're tier 1 in the 19 world. But where they're really exceptional is at level 29. And honestly, getting to level 29 is pretty damn easy if you have somebody helping you with stockades carries. So it's really not that much more difficult to get the 10 extra levels to get to that level bracket. Now you may be asking, why specifically is level 29 so much better than level 19 for a rogue? The main reason is just a more fully fleshed out skill set. At level 19, you're missing a ton of key abilities, namely Vanish and Cheap Shot. Oh, and at level 20, you also get access to Poisons, which is a huge help in PvP. 19 rogue twinks basically just run around like a dual wielding warrior, I guess, in a certain way, and just sprint around and sinister strike and eviscerate people. Where the 29 twink can pretty much do everything that you'd expect from rogue gameplay. Open up with a Cheap Shot, Vanish, Evasion, Sprint everything that you're looking for. I distinctly remember level 29 rogue twinks from back in original vanilla, hanging out in certain leveling spots or maybe outside of a main city, dueling people that were maybe like level 45 or something and beating them in 1v1s. Level 29 rogue twinks are absolutely stellar, and I'd say it's probably where this class thrives the best in the twinking ecosystem. So if rogues aren't at their best in the 19 bracket, then which classes are? Let's cover the best 19 twinks for the next couple slots. The absolute tier 1 19 twink, at least in my opinion, is the hunter. Now obviously, the first thing is the gear. So some of the best twink gear available is obviously the agility set and the leather gear in general. And that's a big reason why rogues are so popular. A class that share the exact same stat priority and also use leather at that level range is the hunter, so that's the first thing. The second thing is Venom Strike, the bow that you get from Wailing Caverns. This bow is absolutely ridiculous at level 19. The proc hits really hard for the level range, it's kind of on par with the fiery weapon on hit effect, which is scaled for pretty much level 50. So you have these incredible items that come together to form a really nice set. And hunters also use raptor strike which hits quite hard at low levels, and having a nice two-handed staff or whatever two-handed weapon you're using on your twink allows you to absolutely clobber enemies with a really strong strike. But it doesn't end there, that mixed in with the fact that hunters are pretty fleshed out at low levels. They don't have scatter, they don't have trap, they don't have aim shot, they don't have things like that, but in general, their play style doesn't really change. Where rogues are missing key abilities that are intrinsic to how they play their character, hunters have arcane shot, serpent sting, concussive shot, and overall kiting mechanics, wing clip, and raptor strike. Oh, and of course multi shot. That's pretty much all that you need to play at the level 19 range. And if you leveled up, you might have noticed that hunters are ridiculously powerful in 1v1 scenarios and world PvP scenarios in general in the low levels. So at level 19, hunters have the ability to kite really well and just kill you as they run away while doing insane damage from range. They fare pretty well in a melee scenario. They have wing clip to kite people or slow enemies that are trying to run away, and just overall, they're really nice, they're fleshed out, and I'd argue probably the best twin class in the entire bracket. So if you're looking to absolutely dominate the level 19 bracket, I'd definitely suggest going Hunter. So what's the next twin class in the 19 bracket that kills it? It's none other than the Priest. 19 Priests are really, really strong. They're extremely versatile. Obviously, they're great healers, 
Healing spells at low levels have some really nice base values that allow you to just straight up bomb heal people. They have power word shield, and alongside that they have really strong base damage values. If you've looked at a priest leveling guide, you'll notice that they go in discipline for the first 30 levels or so. This is because you do more damage as a discipline priest than you do as a shadow priest until you get higher ranks of mind flay. So you're essentially a hybrid healer slash DPS class at low levels. But the main reason why priests are so bonkers at level 19 is because of the one disciplined priest talent that pretty much every priest focuses on while leveling, and that's improved wands. So at level 19, priests are able to get Gravestone Scepter. This is a wand that you get from a quest in Black Fathom Deeps, and the cutoff for obtaining it is level 18 or 19, so you're just able to get it. This wand's item level is like level 30 or 35 or something. I'll put it up on the screen just so you guys can see. It does an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. That factored in with the improved wand talent is really stupid at this level. You put a shield on yourself, you shadow word pain the enemy, and just gun them down. There's actually this YouTuber who made a pretty famous video from a while ago called Insane Wand Priest Damage Killing People Dead at Level 19. It went pretty viral and it was really an awesome video. His name is Big Musk and I think this video pretty much portrays exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the power of a wand in the level 19 bracket on a priest. So if you want to go a caster, you probably don't want to go mage, you probably don't want to go warlock. At level 19, priest is the best there is. And go check out that awesome video from Big Musk. Alright, so here's the last 19 twink that we're going to cover. And surprisingly enough, it's the paladin. Paladins at level 19 are pretty damn good. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The first is the weapons. So as a paladin, you can rock either a shield and a sword, an offhand and a sword, which usually people go the furball medicine pouch, which heals you for a thousand over 10 seconds. And then you get glacial stone, which is a stone. Stupidly good weapon. So there's these quests out in the wetlands that give you access to like level 35 two-handed weapons And you can complete those quests at level 19 so you can get a Ridiculously good two-handed weapon that procs 75 frost damage pretty consistently on your paladin So the versatility switching between a stupidly strong two-handed weapon swapping to a ridiculously strong one-handed sword Obviously in Shadowfang with a shield or the medicine pouch in your offhand is the first thing And the next thing is kind of similar to what we were talking about with the hunter Paladins get a ton of really key spells at low levels. Let's go through the list really quick They have divine protection. So they have a bubble Seal of Righteousness, Blessing of Freedom, Holy Light, obviously they can heal themselves, Lay on Hands to heal themselves to full, and obviously keep in consideration that when you're twinked out you have like 1400 HP, 1300 HP, so that Lay on Hands is effectively almost like 2500 health. They have Bop, Blessing of Protection, they have Purify, Hammer of Justice, Might, and Judgment. So I mean, they, they pretty much got what they need. They're nice and sturdy, they can heal really well at the back lines, they can tank, they can clobber you with a two-handed weapon, they have really great utility, they can swing the fight with a stun, a, a bubble, a lay on hands, a dispel. Overall, just a really, really strong class in the level 19 twink range. And if Paladin's your class, if you want to be that sturdy, holy warrior, go right ahead. It's actually really, really viable. All right, so let's get off the 19 twink bracket for a little bit here. And let's start talking about some higher level ranges. Although not in numerical order per se, this time we're going to be jumping up significantly. We're talking about level 49 or I guess even 39 shaman twinks, enhancement shaman specifically. I'd say they're equally as good at the 39 and 49 range, but I'm going to be focusing on the 49 range because that's what's most nostalgic to me and obviously Kang the Decapitator. So back in original vanilla, a lot of my friends from high school we used to all play together on the same server and one of my friends had a shaman who was fully decked out at level 49 with all of the best gear and a Kang the Decapitator with Crusader. Now this might be against TOS, but <laughs> let's just say that I used to go on his account every now and then and play that shaman because it was just so much damn fun. 49 shaman twinks are <laughs> insanely powerful. Shamans in general at the lower level range are ridiculously good. They have Grounding Totem, Frost Shock, Earth Shot, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, Lightning Shield, Tremor Totem, they have pretty much everything that you need. And other classes aren't at level 60 where they're hitting massive power spikes due to gear, where they can just completely destroy shamans and kite them. At lower levels, shamans can beat most people, especially other melee. And when you get a Wind Fury proc on your enemy, it's pretty much over, especially if you're twinked out. Arguably, on this entire list, I'd have to say that this is probably the most fun twink to play in all of World of Warcraft. 
an Enhancement Shaman with Kang the Decapitator, Crusader Prox, get a Wind Fury. You're going to see numbers that rival what you'll see from an entry level Enhancement Shaman at even like level 60. You can do full combos for like 1500, maybe even close to 2000 damage. It's really nuts, arguably broken for the level range. And from a tactile perspective, how it feels when you get those procs and shock off of them, it's, I really don't think it gets any better than that. So level 49 Enhancement Shaman Twinks with Kang the Decapitator, I repeat, Level 49 Shaman Enhancement Twinks with Kang the Decapitator. I probably said that like six times already, but <laughs> I want to like subconsciously instill it into your brain. The only thing that's difficult is you have to level up to 49 and not hit 60 on that character, which is maybe a little bit brutal. But with power leveling methods, you can get there pretty damn fast and it's definitely worth it. Okay, so this next one is again at level 49 and once again, something that's very nostalgic to me and something that I remember specifically from back in the days playing in vanilla in 2005, 2006. We're talking about the 49 Mage Twink. All in all, mages are pretty good. They're not the greatest twinks through most of the level brackets, but at level 49, mages get access to a couple items that just really shoot them over the top. The first one is Eye of Flame, which is a really, really good fire mage helmet even at level 60. And the next one is either Staff of Jordan. You can get the staff from Zulfarak. Just in general, a really solid staff or one-handed weapon that has a ton of spell power on it, enchanted with a plus 30 spell power enchant. These two items together, with the enchant on the staff, put you at basically 100 spell power right off the bat not counting any other items. You can get a level 49 mage to be kind of similar in terms of its spell power or in terms of the base damage that it's hitting to a fresh level 60 with higher rank spells and maybe little to no spell power. And generally you'll focus for maybe like an elemental hybrid PvP spec, get Blast Wave and Shatter, and you can absolutely decimate people. You can crit fire spells into a Nova with Shatter, so you can do fire shatters that lead into ignites, and then Blast Wave is an extremely useful spell in PvP. So you basically go like a hybrid fire shatter mage, and <laughs> it's really, really, really fun. Obviously, mages, if played well, are probably the best class, or one of the best class, definitely top three in PvP in general. So if you're good at mage and that's what you like doing, I'd suggest probably going level 49 mage twink. Now the last class that we're going to cover in this OP twink video is the druid. And the reason I kept it for the end is because we're not going to tie this one on to a level bracket specifically. The thing about the druid is it's not necessarily the most sought after or what you'd expect as the most overpowered twink in pretty much any bracket, but it's tier two everywhere. It's just a versatile, awesome class to play and it's probably more fun, at least for most people, especially in the PvP world, than a lot of the other classes. It's extremely versatile, with the ability to heal, do damage from range, be melee, you could even go bear and just with a huge health pool based on all of the twink gear and twink enchants, and just maul people in the face while having a ridiculous amount of armor and health. It's just overall great, but the main reason why it's viable from start to finish and why I didn't want to tack it on to a specific bracket is obviously flag carrying. The twink bracket generally revolves around Warsong Gulch, especially now considering that AB hasn't been released yet. Yes, I know that 49 and 39 twinks like to queue AB, but Warsong Gulch is still a factor there. And if you want to go druid, you can pretty much be the Warsong Gulch god flag carrying over and over again to victory. A druid with engineering and all of the little gadgets in the higher level range, the perfect gear that you'd want on a twink, being ridiculously tanky and just extremely slippery is super super annoying for people to deal with, and again probably one of the most fun classes to play, especially in that environment in the entire game. So if druid's your class, if your idea of having fun is trolling people and being unkillable and constantly running away and making people angry and winning every war song gulch that you step in by hard carrying it with amazing flag carrying, then Druid is definitely the class for you and it's a viable twink prospect in every single bracket. So that's the video. Now twinking is a big part of Classic WoW and considering the fact that BGs haven't been around, it almost feels like a very important part of vanilla is missing. Well, no longer is that the case. Twinking is is back in full force, and I know I've already seen a ton of people who've been getting into it, 
the prices for Twink Gear have been rising steadily, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited to start working on an alt that you don't even have to hit level 60 on to have a great time on. I personally don't have time for it right now, but it is on the schedule and I will eventually at least make a 19 Twink. Now hopefully this video does well because I'd love to continue making different videos, maybe specific guides like I was talking about when it comes to the Twink world. I'm just not exactly sure on how popular of a topic this is. So if you guys really like this one and you want me to keep making videos covering this world within the world of Warcraft, then make sure to leave a comment, make sure to leave a like, let's get this video out there and hopefully if it does well and all goes according to plan, then I'll keep pumping them out like I said in the intro. So of course, leave a like, comment, subscribe, like usual, you know the drill soldiers, hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video straight out of the render oven. That's my first Twink video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.